Haven is an important town, port and ferry terminal on the south coast of England. As with many coastal areas around the UK, climate change projections predict that extreme weather events are likely to cause larger storm swells and waves, increasing the risk of flooding and putting a strain on coastal defences. So um, here in New Haven um, in 2013, uh, there was a storm, water topped the defences and 60 homes uh, were flooded. New Haven Harbour Station was flooded for three days. It's obviously a bit of critical infrastructure and there was the potential for 818 homes to be flooded you know, and the businesses. So you know, there was a clear business case um, to look at increased um, flood defences. The Environment Agency is the UK government body responsible for managing the risks associated with flood and coastal erosion. There are many things that are special about the New Haven Flood Alleviation Scheme. Firstly, it's a good example of how money allocated for improving flood defences is spent. The Environment Agency's River Ooze to Seaford Head strategy set out some of the ways we should improve the situation in terms of flood protection and the scheme has taken those proposals and implemented them. Because of rising sea levels, there are risks to both banks of the River Ouse, and so works have been done along both banks. So between April 2015 and March 2021, we invested £2.6 billion in flood and coastal erosion projects across the country. The government set us a target of better protecting 300,000 homes in that time, and the many hundreds of homes protected by this scheme behind me contributed to that target. So when we think about the value of schemes like this, economic estimates suggest that the cost of recovering from flood damage is five times greater than the investment in schemes like this to better protect people and property. Works were started in 2017 and they were funded from a mix of government grants for coastal flooding and erosion and also from external funding. And all the construction works have now been completed. The project met all of the South East LEPS criteria for funding. It's an investment that facilitates other private and business investment. Businesses just won't invest if there's uncertainty about major issues like flooding. This project enables jobs and economic growth, protects homes and businesses and provides confidence. Alongside the Coast to Capital LEP, we were delighted to assist and provide a million and a half of funding each. And we've worked with the Environment Agency as trusted delivery partners on this complex scheme. New stretches of flood defence were built and existing flood defences along both banks of the River Ouse were improved. Early engagement with the community was key to ensure we understood their differing needs. The Environment Agency sought views on the design and incorporated changes where possible. The fields to the north of New Haven can act as a floodplain for the river. To protect New Haven against this, we have built substantial embankments on either side of the river, 15 metres wide at the base, which have a clay core, which is impermeable. We've also constructed here a culvert through the embankment, which allows the stream to drain into the river. As part of our environmental enhancements on the scheme, we have created a new pond which enables a more diverse wildlife to flourish and that includes being home to a protected species of newt. Here on the western bank of the river we built around 150 metres of new embankment and tied it into the existing flood defences that didn't need to be repaired. The new embankment was sown with a wild flower mix selected by the community and that's created a popular walking circuit for locals. Along this section there wasn't room to build an earth embankment and we couldn't construct a wall because if we tried to dig down we would risk damaging the foundations of this building here. So instead we came up with an innovative technique called silent piling. We pushed long overlapping steel piles down into the ground. 
to form a barrier against potential flood water. We work closely with New Haven Port and Properties Limited to come up with a solution that would provide better protection, but wouldn't disrupt the workings of a busy port and ferry terminal. We have a target at the Environment Agency to make ourselves a net zero carbon organisation by 2030. And we're doing that by building innovative carbon reduction technology into everything we do. Here, we used a cement-free concrete called SEMFree to build part of the wall. This is the first time we've used the material as a structural element of a flood defence, and it's shown that we can make significant reductions in carbon by using it. We're back on the West Bank, and flood protection for these houses behind me is provided by an earth embankment here. This green space is used by the community and is ideal for special events like the New Haven Fish Festival. This brick faced seating area forms part of the flood defence, as does the large green gate here. When a flood warning is issued, our operations team close it. You can choose to be alerted when there's a risk of flooding by registering with our flood line. You just need to call 0345 988 1188 and you'll be alerted by phone, email or text when flooding is expected. So along this section we built a new concrete wall. Our climate's changing, but by building it this high it will give us protection for several hundred years ahead. And although there's gaps in the wall, you'll see them here, for fishermen and other river users to access their boats, during flood warnings, we slot boards into this space called stop logs to continue to keep houses and businesses safe. This busy passenger railway line represents a significant flood route from the valley to the north back into New Haven. To address this, we worked very closely with Network Rail and developed a bespoke solution whereby we installed a concrete impermeable base underneath the railway line with a flexible neoprene barrier to the newly constructed flood embankments. We also installed drainage and diverted signalling and telecommunication cables. From now on, any time there's a significant risk of flooding, temporary barriers known as demountables will be installed by Environment Energy Operations Team across the railway line on top of the newly constructed concrete base. This town's moving forward fast. Let Funding's enabled the construction of 60,000 square feet of B1 space at east side, all fully occupied, very quickly, with really dynamic businesses. This was made possible by the flood defence investment. There's now a spirit of excitement about positive change in New Haven. Yeah, we're seeing big changes in the town. Um, I, we've had the £5 million uh, Future High Streets Fund and the 19.3 um, Towns Fund been giving approval, lots of projects making up that fund. Um, so yeah, huge amounts of potential in, in terms of regeneration and residential development. And, and obviously th this flood alleviation scheme is, is, is critical to ensuring that confidence underneath it. So yeah, it's a really, really exciting time. This has been a complex project and it's needed collaboration throughout the design and delivery of it to deliver a flood risk scheme at the same time as keeping a busy port and harbour and town running. And not only are the communities of New Haven better protected from flooding, but that reduction in flood risk should give businesses a sound base to invest and grow for the future, knowing that New Haven is more resilient to flooding. But we mustn't be complacent. There's more work to do as the climate continues to change right across the country. And our flood and coastal erosion risk management strategy provides a long-term vision for how we can create climate resilient places for years to come.